The Federal Trade Commission investigating Facebook after its partner organization, Cambridge Analytica, violated the social media giant's terms of service in collecting user data on 50 million people. Questions remain about whether this was a data breach and if any laws were broken. Here to explain this controversial uh, situation from two different standpoints are local cybersecurity experts, Jay Arquetta of Halloran and Sage LLP and Jonathan Stone, COO of the Kelser Corporation. It's great to have you both with us. So let's set the stage for everybody. It's been in, on the news for quite some time now, but basically what happened? Well, what happened was Cambridge Analytica is a British-based data analytics and, and political advisory firm. What they did was they captured the data of 50 million Facebook users, some of it with their permission, most of it without and they were able to sell that data to political organizations to basically form psychological and voter profiles for each of these users to use then uh, obviously for the candidate's benefit. Jonathan, how did they do that? Um, so they uh, did it through uh, an application um, that uh, Facebook users uh, uh, voluntarily uh, chose to use. Uh, they signed in with their Facebook credentials um, and they answered a series of questions that helped to uh, develop a personality profile for them. Um, and then uh, through Facebook's interface, uh, they were able to look at data for all of the people who used the application's friends. So that's how the number got uh, so big. Um, and that was an intentional Facebook feature. Okay, well now, I believe a couple years ago, uh, Facebook signed this consent agreement with FTC over its privacy uh, agreement. So what happened here? Did they really break the law? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting issue. I mean, Facebook has, has couched this as a breach of trust and not a data breach. Uh, experts are sort of on the fence. You know, the, the problem is we have a lack of cybersecurity and privacy laws on a federal uh, basis in this country. So uh, to say that they broke the law, it's sort of a gray area. They may have violated the terms of the FTC agreement, and that's certainly being investigated now by both the FTC and the state's attorneys general. Absolutely, and he, Zuckerberg, is going to testify before Congress, I believe, April 10th. Uh, so, Jonathan, what can people do? I mean, they, they're, they feel like their trust has been broken, so what can what can folks do to, pre to pre prevent this from happening, and can they really prevent this from happening? So I don't think they can really prevent this kind of thing from happening. I think um, uh, legislation is an important part of the, the solution to the problem. But there are a few simple things people can do to lessen the risk. Um, so the, uh, the first one is uh, really being careful with um, things that ask you to sign in with Facebook credentials. Um, that's a way to really link your Facebook identity uh, with uh, your identity in another place. And all of a sudden, all kinds of information can be uh, put together about you. Um, filling out online profiles. Um, how much detail do you really need to provide? What's uh, required versus optional? So keep the details about yourself online uh, to a minimum. Um, and then uh, for social platforms in general, um, you know, do you really need to be sharing all your details on all of them all the time? So just limit what you post and um, where you post it. And to both of you, is there such a thing as privacy on the internet? Uh, no. No, <laughs> not really. right? I mean, it's the, you know, it's the balance. We have these freedoms and we've uh, chosen to really largely not regulate them up till now. So, uh, you know, it's going to be up to us as a country to decide what that balance is and how much uh, freedom we want with development and, and the technology industry and fostering, uh, you know, these great apps that we use versus, you know, what we're willing to put right. out there. So we should all just be aware that, yes, your privacy is likely not going to, was going to be likely violated here. Yeah, or, so, or at least less than it is in the, uh, in the real world, certainly. Exactly. Thank you both for joining us. And it, it is a complex issue, but I think you, you've actually explained it very well for everybody. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right. Um,